the arrest and Rubia, Matiba and Raila. Lakini watu wakasema potle ya mbali. A riot that left 21 people dead and more than 1000 arrested. But was that the real meaning of Saba Saba? Saba Saba was a culmination of a long process that had started in earnest 1988. Well, as you've heard it, Saba Saba, which is actually the seventh day on the seventh month, which is July, resembles the day which Kenya started the fight for a multi-party state, a state ruled by different parties rather than one. Tulikuwa tunapigania demokrasia. Tulikuwa tunapigania uhuru wa kusema. Tulikuwa tunapigania uhuru wa kukutana. The year was 1990 when a group of politicians led by the likes of Raila Odinga, James Orengo, Paul Mwite, Mukisa Kitui and Anyang Nyongo among others thought enough was enough after they were tired of the country's dictatorship by the Kanu Party which was the only political party headed by the then president the late Daniel Arap Moi. It is important to remember that it is from the Sabasaba riots that today Kenya has many political parties. That is including the opposition party whose main function is to keep the government in check. We achieved uniting the country into thinking about constitutional reform to demand change in government and in socio-economic systems and we are sure that that was achieved. As expected, this coming Friday, which will be the 7th of July, the opposition party of Kenya led by the same Raila Odinga famously known as Baba has promised to be back on the streets, redeeming the famous Saba Saba demonstrations. Hey, Saba! This is Saba! Ijumai Jau! Wa Kenya wote! Kenya mzima! Utajitokeza! The questions in the citizens' minds though are Will the demonstrations be peaceful? Will they help in convincing the government to meet the people's needs? We only have less than 72 hours to know the answers. My name is Nokla Murunga, Africa Rebirth.